Bronfen Breyer's Ecological Theory by Mary Chris Boss. From the day we are born, we develop our unique ways of living by what surround us environmentally. Yuri Bronfen Breyer explains that by showing his ecological model of human development. Bronfen Breyer's Ecological Theory. During the 1970s through 1980s, a Russian American psychologist by the name of Yuri Bronfen Breyer introduced the ecological model of human development. Basically, this theory brought on one's mind to think about other factors of human development, not only through oneself, but through environmental factors. These five environmental layers that Bronfen Breyer explained in his theory are the microsystems, mesosystems, exosystems, macrosystems, and the chronosystems. And the macrosystems is basically an interaction one-on-one, -on -one, such as peers, parents, family, neighbors, and so on. In the mesosystem, it is extended into having the relationship with two or more microsystems, such as what is learned through rules, norms, expectations. In the exosystem, it is the environmental effect of how one's development that is out of their control, such as a salary increase into a job, a tuition increase in school, something that affects oneself but is out of their hands. In the macro systems, it is a large cultural and social structural elements of the environment that shape human development, such as marriage ceremonies, outbreak of AIDS, and the chrono systems, which is big events in the world that impact one's development through time, such as a family going through a divorce or nations going to war. This reinstates a picture of Bronfen Byers' ecological system that impacts social factors of one's experience in life. In addition, the biopsychosocial model, which was developed by a psychiatrist by the name of George L. Eng Engel to help understand health, illness, disability, and disease by taking a holistic approach into modern medicine, but by considering both biological factors, psychological, and sociological factors as well. In addition, person environment, which is often referred to the mind-body connection, in which the person in an environment's perspective is both the individual's actions influence and, un and are influenced by the context. Comparisons of each theory. Each of these theory states of one's human development by how we live and how we develop. In Bronfen Breyer's theory, he basically states all the The way we see things differently by how we grew up and the biosocial paradigm views the biological factor in the human body such as how the brain function and how it affects the everyday physical development and human psychology. Psych resources.